Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sitting in front of my vanity. That's why lighting might look a little bit different because my vanity is one of those very old Hollywood vanities with like a bunch of light bulbs. So I'm I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys might be getting a little bit of a yellow tint. I apologize for that. I really like doing these chill laid back videos. Um, I don't always want everything to be so polished, but those will be returning if you guys are interested in those. Um, but yeah, I just really like these laid back chill videos where I kind of do my makeup and chit chat with you. Um, today's look is this one that I have on my face. It's very simple. Um, very easy and super light, nothing too heavy. Um, you will see in the video, these are my favorite looks to do. They are just so, so fresh and just so, I don't know, so me. <laughs> I really, really like this look. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, all the discount codes, uh, brushes, products, everything that I use in this video will be listed down below in the description bar. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Um, there is a giveaway going on right now on my Instagram. Um, I'm giving away the whole entire Benefit Cosmetics Brow Collection, which I'll be talking about in future videos because I've been really liking them lately. Um, and yeah, that is about it for this video. Um, as I promise, every Sunday you guys are getting a new video, so um, I'm super happy that I get to be back on YouTube. Um, other than that, yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you like my videos, and I can't wait to see you again. Enjoy this video. I love you. Bye. So I already went ahead and did my eyebrows. Um, I figured I'd do that off screen because today was just one of those days and it just took forever. I'm gonna go in with the Cetaphil Moisturizer, which I use in probably every single makeup tutorial. It is the best moisturizer ever, and I like to put it on so it keeps my skin very moisturized. Duh. But this is also the moisturizer that I just slap on like every single day, six times a day. Like it's, it's my obsession, I can't live without it. So I got this Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer in the mail yesterday. It was a PR package. And I haven't tried it yet. I want to try it on screen for you guys today. It says, it increased the longevity of foundation while reducing the appearance of fine lines and pores. Apply over skin, moisturized skin. Over clean, moisturized skin. So I'm going to put a dime size. Ooh, feels nice. I'm just going to put that right here. And then I'm going to go in with my foundation. And then for foundation today, I'm going to use my favorite foundation, which is the Too Faced Born This Way. If you guys haven't tried this, you need to. Um, it is the best foundation in the world, in my opinion. So I'm just gonna put that much. And I'm going to take my Real Techniques uh, Miracle Complexion Sponge and dab that in. Now for this foundation, it's really buildable. <laughs> really buildable um, if you want full coverage. Or you can go very light like I am right now. It has amazing coverage. It's very lightweight. You don't feel it and it looks natural, which is something I like. And then to conceal, I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Light Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. And I'm gonna put that right in this area. And then I'm going to also add um, the new Born This Way concealers. This one, super lightweight, but gives you a little bit more coverage. This one, the Too Faced Born This Way concealer, worn alone. Amazing. I feel like I'm sinking in my chair. Ate too much wings last night, apparently. And then I'm going to buff that in. I love, love using um, a sponge because I feel like it blends things in um, prettier. Now to set all of my liquids into place, I'm using something new. Um, I've been hearing a lot of people rave about this on YouTube, so I want to give it a try. It's the original um, No Color Powder. It's the RCMA Makeup one. 
Um, I'm really excited. If you have tried this, definitely leave me a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. Um, this is my first time trying it, so I'm super excited. Um, my Holy Grail powder is the Benai Cameo. That one's really, really good. I personally really like that one. But we're gonna give this baby a try and hopefully it's good. Now what I like to do is take my beauty sponge and dab in the powder like so. Oh wow, the finish is nice, it's very flawless. I like to go in with a brush with the rest of the powder and set the rest of my face. So far the powder looks really good, but I wanna see how it does um, throughout the night. I'm gonna take my favorite um, contour powder. Um, they sent this to me like a year and a half ago and that's what I've been using to contour my nose. I really like this shade because it's more on the cool tone side um, and that's what I like to contour my nose with. I feel like a warm shade to contour my nose would look kind of funky. So I, it is the Rodile Instaglam Compact Deluxe Contouring Powder. I believe this is a London-based brand, um, but this powder is so good, you guys, if you're looking for a really nice cool tone powder. And I'm gonna use um, my Morphe M514. Um, I love using this brush to contour my nose. To bronze my face, we're gonna kind of bronze contour today. I'm using the Pixie by Pedra Natural Contour Shadow Shape, oh, Natural Contour Powder Shape and Shadow. It looks like this. It's super pretty. And I'm going to take a little bit of that, suck in my cheeks. Add a little shadow. Hopefully you guys can see me. I'm legit sinking in this chair right now. <laughs> I'm not really sure why I bought this chair as a vanity chair because it like sinks you in. This is a really nice powder. Ooh, I really recommend this product. And then for my head, I like to go very lightly. I like that product a lot. And then I go back in with my powder brush and just blend. For highlight and blush today, I'm using the brand new Becca Cosmetics um, collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. It's the Shimmering Skin Perfector Mineral Blush in Champagne Splits. Splits? Yeah, splits. It looks like this. So the top here is a blush and the bottom is um, a highlight, I believe, or you can mix it together. Oh, that's pretty. And I'm gonna go on the blush side and take a little bit of that blush. Now moving on to the eyes, I'm gonna go in with Painterly Pro Longwear Paint Pot by MAC. And I'm going to use this as a base for my eyelids. And then I'm gonna go in to one of my favorite Morphe palettes. This is the Morphe 35O Matte Palette. Um, it's one of my favorites because I love matte and it has all of these beautiful warm tone colors. Woo, so pretty. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, I'm going to take a brush and use the lightest color on the edge. And I'm gonna use this, oh wow, they're so creamy. Um, I'm going to use this to set that MAC paint pot. If you guys haven't gotten your hands on this palette, you need to, it is absolutely amazing. And there's also a 35-0 shimmer palette, which has all the shades, but they're all shimmer shades. So if you are someone who's into um, shimmer and not matte, that one's definitely for you. Or you can just get the 35O, which has a mixture of everything. But I love the matte palette. I will link it down below for you guys. Um, hopefully it's still available. 
and there is a discount code if you use Kim Tai at checkout. Um, you can save in stores and online. And then I'm going to go into this brown right here, which is a really rich brown. I'm gonna work that in my crease. Shadows are so pigmented, it's insane. Next, I'm gonna take a little bit of Makeup Geek Bling right here, and I'm going to use that to highlight my underbrow. I'm gonna put on some Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, and then we're gonna apply some lashes. I'm using House of Lashes Iconics. I've been really into them again. Um, I forgot how pretty they are. For my lips, I am wearing a Ofra Cosmetics color that I created with Ofra. Um, nothing is really in the works yet. Um, it is just a color that I created and um, we will see, you know? But I love Ofra's formula. Okay friends, so that is it for today's look. It was very quick and simple. I love, love doing these looks. I feel like they're very um, simple and flattering and it's just not too much, but you still put very, or you still look very put together. Um, these are usually the looks that I go for for pretty much everything in my life. Oh, I think this lash needs more glue. Um, other than that, yeah, I hope you enjoy these kind of videos. I really enjoy filming these for you because they're just really relaxed and I feel like we're hanging out. Um, other than that, that's about it. Everything you need to know in this video is listed down below in the description bar as always. I hope you enjoy this and I hope you subscribe to my channel and continue watching future videos. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Goodbye. Bye lovelies.